Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. Hello friends, Jamin Jackson here. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. I am done with Star Wars. That was my Jeffrey Epstein moment. After reading some reviews from people I really, really trust, I've decided I'm not giving Disney another dime. For at least a couple of weeks. And I might watch the movie on Disney+. Plus. So I'm home now without going to see a Star Wars movie for the very first time on opening night. And instead, I'm going to watch some amazing swing dancing videos. And today, video I'm going to watch, it looks like it is an advanced strictly. And I believe for one of my most rare places that I've ever had the opportunity to visit. And that is Russia. Never got a chance to go to Moscow. I had a fantastic time in St. Petersburg. I had an opportunity to do one of the very few choreographed pieces I've ever done uh, with Sonia Ortega. We did it in a few hours when I had a chance to visit in Barcelona. And that was the only time we actually performed that routine. It was a long time ago. But um, it was fun. So I'm excited to see what kind of dancers are coming out of this event. It's been a long time since I've been in Russia. And I hear right now they've got a lot of momentum. A lot of people are hungry to make their mark. And that makes me excited. So shake the Star Wars off my mind. And let's get right into a reaction video. And here we go. Do this. Looks like a good, enthusiastic audience. I'm not even sure where this is located, but I know this video is in Russia. Ooh, up tempo. Yes, I like that swing out. Yes! This couple's got some energy. Yes! Yes! That swing out, that swiping. Love that. Uh, uh, uh. She's loving it. She's loving that swing out. It's awesome. Yes, over the back, over the back. Yeah, I like that. I like that choreography. Hey, that's a Jamin Jackson move. That's awesome! I saw a move that I created. That was cool. Now they get extra points for that. I guess that's what judges are supposed to do, right? Yes! Traveling swing outs! Oh, I like that break. 
I really like this couple's uh, outfit, how they like match a little bit with the pink. Ariel's! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, swivels. That was great. Yes. Oh, they had the perfect trombone on that. Yes! Splits. Hey, I like that. Knee slap was, oh, that was good. I didn't expect it right where it was, so. Yes, <laughs> just walk off. I love it. I love they just separate it. Oh, that's, I love that move. That's like a classic hip hop move. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Good job, guys. That was fun. That was fun. I don't think I've ever seen any of those dancers. And I think that's what makes it so much more interesting and so much more fun to watch. Because I literally had a hard time like writing down some of the things that I like um, because I didn't want to miss something. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I wish I had everyone's name, so I think... I think the best way I can describe them is by the order they came out and some of the clothes they were wearing and some of the things that they did. Now, obviously, when, 
we are judging competitions. It is a very subjective thing. I'd say 75% of Lindy Hop is subjective. Not a lot of people will be bold enough to say that, but I've done over 15,000 hours of social dancing, dancing with the best dancers in the world, and I've realized a lot of what we do is all preference. It's all style. And there's only 25% of the time we are actually doing things that are universal that every person has to do, no matter what their style is. And so some of those things we talk about in our school, but they also apply a little bit to how I shape my opinion when I judge people, because obviously being a judge is also subjective. I have to factor in that. So one of the only technical things that I can go by is one of the elements that everybody has to display no matter what their style may be. And that first thing is control. What I mean by control is I've got to see an idea, be able to flourish with two people focusing on their roles. So we got to see a leader initiate something, and then I got to see the followers make that actually happen. And as someone who's watching it, I, I always want to be able to see the idea in its fullness without the leader distracting from the follower's role or, for, or the follower distracting from the leader's role. This is what makes it so beautiful. You have two, th two sides to the same uh, relationship and they come together and they need each other. So I love to see that actually happen. And a couple for me that demonstrated the best control, this doesn't necessarily put them in the right place for me, but you got to literally have three things to win first place for me. And the couple that had the best um, control for me was the very first couple. The very first couple. Um, I love their energy when they came out, but that's not the thing that I gravitated to first. When I assessed them, I said, they understand the technique. They understand sharing energy as uh, two bodies coming together and sharing energy at different points. And my eyes weren't actually distracted by the leader or the follower doing the wrong thing. I could see, shoo, 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 shoo. And that was good. They did it the best, in my opinion. And that's the very first thing I go to. So you immediately get into the top three when you can show me you've mastered the actual technique. <sighs> the couple that had the best timing for me, because timing is important. If you don't have timing, you might as well be dancing to no music, right? The music is so important. And I'm not talking about rhythm time in the sense of just dancing to the metronome. I'm talking about phrasing where you know that there's something about the change in the music and the audience can hear that thing happen. And if you can make your movements some way mirror that dynamic that's taking place, I can see it. And I can hear it simultaneously at the same time, and it makes me extremely happy as a judge. I can say, wow, that's really cool that they're paying attention to the time of the music. I can't judge you on what you did too much, because obviously if it's controlled, it's your idea. Hey, I may not like the shape, but you did it in time, and you did it in call and response with good control. And that's, that's good judging. I can only go by what your intentions were, not what I wanted you to do. So the couple that had the best control for me was the second couple. They did a couple of the aerials. I think he had blue on and she had like a, uh, like a white shirt with like flowers on it a little bit, black pants. They had some of the best timing. I loved their sets. Um, I like some of the other dancers' ideas per se. Personally, as a dancer, I, I preferred some of their original ideas more than this couple, but this couple for me had the best timing out of everybody and uh, it made me appreciate what they're doing. So good job on that, guys. Good job. Uh, the couple for me that had the most creativity, the best creativity, and that's the most important thing to me outside of control and timing is I want to see what you can do with the technique. Once you've gotten control, once you've gotten the timing, you know when the music's going to change and you can do more than just this little snap and a Susie cue and you show me something I haven't seen. <sighs> I am super happy. I might scream if I see something I haven't seen as a judge. Because you know what? It's easy to be mediocre. It really is. It takes guts and it's hard to put new ideas out there. But if you do it, it tells me you've got a hunger and you're really excited about Lindy Hop.
So I'll keep my eyes on you. So one of the couples that had the best creativity for me, all of them had some ideas that um, some of them I'd seen before, but they were done in unique ways, different ways. But the one that had some ideas I hadn't seen, <laughs> in fact, this couple did one of my moves, one of the moves I made up uh, years ago. And that's cool. I, have, I don't really see a lot of people do a lot of my stuff. Some of the stuff I do is just weird. I do some weird stuff that you can lead and follow it, but it's just like, oh, that's strange. I've never thought about that before. But they actually did one of my moves. It was the couple, uh, the third couple that came out. They had on, I think they had like, he had like a tan shirt. And she was like an all white with flowers. I liked some of their creative ideas especially some of their Charleston movement. It was just, it was inventive. It was fresh. Um, it may not have been as timed as the other, as best as the other ones. That's okay too, because I'm, I'm looking also at the idea. So more props to you guys for nailing out some cool stuff that I've seen, but also some stuff that I hadn't seen done a certain way. That's fun. That's the best. So now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Who was the closest couple to have all three of those for me? So first place, goes to the very first couple. They had the best balance of all three of those things. Control, timing, they also had some good timing, and they also had some creativity. So that's what I look for to get first place. You can get control and timing and get second place. You can get control and timing and get first place if everybody else can't do control and timing. But there were a lot of good dancers in this competition, so the first couple got first place for me. The third couple, the gentleman I was just describing with the tan and his partner with the white and the flowers, they're second place for me. Second place. Even though they may not have done a lot of aerials, I think a familiar aerial um, isn't ranked as high as new stuff I haven't seen before. I don't care if it's an aerial or if it's just a move you're doing on the ground. The move that's new is always going to win <laughs> in my mind. So... Um, that was the edge for me. Now, that's a very biased thing to say. You can say, Jamin, the aerials are hard to do. Jamin, aerials are hard to do. No, they're not. It just takes practice. <laughs> if your body's healthy, it just takes practice. A new idea? That's hard to do. Because where'd you get it from? That's a mystery in itself. But you got to get it from somewhere where that already has ideas. You've got to put them into this realm and make it visible for us. That takes a lot of work. And it takes a lot of vulnerability and inspiration. So I respect that even more so than just the hard work to uh, show us a move that's already been done before. Not to say it's not a bad thing, but it always gets beaten by the new move. So there you have it, folks. First place for me was the first couple. Second place for me was the folk, the couple that had the white on and the tan, nice tie. And the third couple for me was the one doing the aerials in the blue. That's, that's what I would have picked. If I was sitting there in front of that audience, wasn't that a great band too? Not a lot of people play that song. That's actually a really, really good song. But I was like, wow, they're playing that in a like a Strictly Jam? That's cool. I don't ever really hear that song that much. So I don't know the name of the band, so let me know in the comment section if you know. Because I love collecting good swing music. So what do you guys have to say about this? Do you guys think uh, someone else should have won? Who do you think won this competition? I've got my way of judging. Um, no one's neutral. Everybody has a way of judging. I just like to put mine out there so you know what I think. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear what you think in the comment section. If you guys want some uh, coaching from me, you need some help, you need some creative ideas, check out some of my courses below. Put in some of my original ideas and I break them down so you kind of understand um, where I'm coming from to make it easier for you to get creative yourself. So um, if you like that, check them out below. Other than that, I will... I want to see your comments on who you thought should have won this competition. And if I don't see you in class online, I will see you in the next reaction video.